Hola, Geeks at the Movies viewers. It's time again for a Shane Reads. And where did Shane read this time? Do, 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 do. <gasps> it's the death of the new gods. As always, you know the deal. The Jacob gave me the death of the new gods. He said, Shane, read this or I'll murder you. And I'm like, all right, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll read it, I'll read That's it. True. All right. So, Jacob, tell me, why were you about to murder me if I didn't read it? Well, I'll give you a quick synopsis of what it's about. So there's the new gods, which are like uh, characters that people that even the hardcore fans haven't really even heard of. They're they're uh, they're way old school. <laughs> they're, um, so they live on this place called New Genesis, and they're all dying. Like w one by one, they're getting killed off by a mysterious uh, person that no one knows who it is. And so then there's the the other new gods, which are kind of like the evil ones. They, they live on Apocalypse. That's where Dark Side lives. He's probably the most He's probably uh, the most popular of the new gods because he he actually comes back a lot, and um, so th then some they uh, rec they uh, recruit uh, Superman to c come in and be like help us find out who's killing us because we don't want to die. Right. And then, then that's basically all you need to know. There's there's a thing called the Source, which is basically the Force, and then <laughs> it, it, it's kind of like this overall like power that like that uh they, they go to uh, it's, it's like their uh, their god figure. Yes. It's like the, the master god. Yeah. You know, it's like the titans in Greek mythology who created Zeus and all the rest of the pantheon. Yeah. And for me, this was a very strange but very entertaining comic. But I, but before I really get into what I thought about it, I want to know what you thought about it. Okay, Jake. Can you guess what I'm about to do? Can you guess what I'm about to talk about? Possibly. <laughs> I'm going to bring it up like I always do, the comic book tropes. You know, I always have to do it. Uh, I, I don't like mixed tones, so let me get right off the bat. Let me get right off the bat and say, don't worry about that. Yep. Don't worry about that, because yep. this shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah. oh, whoa. This is so ridiculous. This truly embraces the comic bookness. Most of the characters in, in the comic book, um, from Superman to Darkseid to everyone else, have a running commentary like this is some sort of Shakespearean play yeah. where they're talking to, I don't even know who they're talking to you, but they're telling you their master evil or good plans in every possible detail, mm -hmm. which I actually like. It reminded me of a, of a comic you read, God Loves, Man Kills. Yeah. Well, the characters, they describe what they're going to do in their head or they just say it and then they do it. So, like the Jake said, there's this bunch of mysterious deaths. Let me get right off the bat. Um... With one of my problems, and this is a common problem I've had with the comic books that you've given me, is there's a lot of characters, I don't know any of them. Yeah. I, I, I'm like, okay, I know Superman. Cool, cool. They briefly show some other characters I know, but they're not important. They go away very quickly. And then after that, I'm like, oh, look, I know Apocalypse. Oh, wait, that's not Apocalypse. Oh, look, I know Thanos. Oh, wait, no, who's that? <laughs> oh, I see. oh, it's, it's Darkseid. Yeah. But here's the thing about Darkseid. So I like Darkseid. And at first I was like, oh, he's just Apocalypse or Thanos. But more and more, he went on. He I felt he felt distinct as, as a yeah. character from those two characters, and he was by far my, maybe not by far, but he was definitely one of my favorite characters in the book. He was so classic, like Saturday morning '90s cartoon yeah. supervillain. Yeah. yeah, I just loved how cheesy he was. Uh, he gives a running commentary about what's happening, about his evil plans, about how powerful he is. And it's cool and it's interesting and it's just mis mystery because how are these powerful beings being killed? Like you said, Superman comes in to join him out. Uh, they know, not they know. <laughs> Dark side though, he's figured out, but he's in the background. Uh, they bring Superman in, and I like that how they have Superman kicking ass. He is God, Superman is so ridiculously powerful. So at one point he's fighting Dark Side's son. Yeah. And Dark Side makes makes a comment like because he's commentating on a lot of things about how they're they're physically matched. But Superman doesn't bother using any of his other powers, and he has so many other powers. Like, at one point, he's scanning the galaxy. Don't worry, I got this. I got telescopic vision. I'll tell you where he is. He's right there. <laughs> he's so powerful, and here's my my problem with it. Here's where, where, where we fall off a little bit. So they make Superman very powerful, and it's neat, and it's interesting. And then they, then they come up with these other guys. They come up with this Infinity Dude. They come up with uh, this Anti-Life Equation guy. And they come up with this other guy. And they keep... Upping the power level, like, oh no, I'm even more powerful. Oh no, I'm even more powerful. Because that point was like, all right, I didn't care anymore. Yeah. Because I, I, it gets, it's too ridiculous. Like, when are you just gonna stick to something and then go with it and not just keep upping the ante? Because this is what, 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 like, 
kids movies do. This is what Saturday morning cartoons do. They, they bring that, it's, it's the never ending twist. That's what it is. It's the never ending twist. <gasps> no, I'm the real bad guy. <gasps> no, I'm the real bad guy. No, I'm really, and, you know, that, that's what bothered me. W what did you think about that aspect? Did it bother you? It's just a constantly, oh, he's the bad guy. Nope. He's the bad guy. Nope. And then the, he's super powerful. Oh, but he's even more powerful. Oh, but no. It's a constant one upmanship game. It's a little silly to me. I, I I agree. It was it was a little bit over the top, especially um, scot free turning into the 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 um, <laughs> anti life equation yeah. guy. Yeah, and just how he became like more like it, like overtook him like more and more as the book came went went on. He became like basically a villain. Yes, and, and just yeah, I I agree with that. But um, did and, then, you, and then they topped him. Yes, yes, with um. Who's, who's the who's the who's, what's that character? The, the, they had them with wait, well, they had the Infinity Man. Oh yeah, yeah, but, the but, Infinity but, no, Man. But, but, no, but then they had the Source. Yes. And the Source yes. combines with with Scott with, with, somehow. Yeah, well, he combines with with his with uh, the Source's evil evil self basically. But then, but then, oh, Dark Seed. Oh, I got this secret magic potion. <laughs> Yay! I just pulled out of my ass. It is pulled out of my ass. Cause wh why yeah. not? Why not? So I liked a lot of the silliness. But these story these story points distracted from me from it, right? What did you think about them? Like, oh, like what did you think about like some of these story points? They distract from the experience for you. They they weren't so distracting for me. I thought I thought they worked overall. But uh, for me, the most entertaining uh, part about this is this is basically like a, a '70s comic. Yeah, the, even the uh, the artwork is is a throwback. Yeah, it's a 70s. Throw, yeah, it's a throwback to uh, to Jack Kirby who created the New Gods. And, and let me let me show him this for a second. I had a, had a little marker here. I love these two guys. <laughs> so what is this? Mantis and Caliback? Yeah. They're so outrageous looking. Yeah. When I am Mantis, I, when he comes out, I started laughing, but in a good way. Yeah. And they showed this this giant monkey guy. I loved it because yeah. it was just so silly, and the way they talked was silly, and they had running commentary what they were gonna do, and they were like the classic, like, classic bumbling idiot villains yeah. that Superman just beats the shit out of them. Yeah. So I like that z zaniness, and it fit within this. Like I always say, it needs to be consistent with your own world, and it, and it was consistent with their world, but I just, it got too much for me. Too much. Come on, just make it slightly more grounded because the story is having a hard time believing you. Yes. Every time they gave me a twist, I'm like, "All right, where's the next? Where's the next twist?" I did yeah. that. I I became. I tried to anticipate the twist yeah. instead of being in the book. Yeah, and these these characters are as as crazy as as um the story is as as crazy as the characters are. They, yes. they're, they're, they're so. They're they're so cheesy and and, and campy. Scott, Very campy. The, the character Scott Free. That that that's his actual name, and he looks effing ridiculous. <laughs> he, he, looks, he looks so ridiculous, and then and then, then they try to make him darker. He changes his color, and then no, it, yeah, he just looks more ridiculous than anything. I did like the way he looked though when he turned into the anti life yeah, equation yeah, guy. Yeah, that, that was really cool. He's, it's it's an like unformed thing, and it was, it was I thought that was cool looking. Yeah, I just love how much of a throwback this this book was to the original New Gods series. Because this is the end of, of the New Gods. So they're like, okay, we we got to make the end like like the beginning. Yes, and it reminded me like the throwback, because we, we read God Loves, Man Kills, which is from, the, I think, the early 80s. Yeah. And this is what it reminded me of. At first, I was slightly thrown off by the style, because I thought they, well, it was a throwback art style, it seemed a little bit mixed. Yeah. Like a little bit like a, a modern, standard comic book style with a, with a traditional style a little bit. But overall, it was pretty good. Um, my scale when it comes to comic books is based around medium because I'm kind of medium about comic books. But I'd give this a medium plus, which is pretty good, Jacob. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, I, I, I agree. It, it, it was like that for me. It, it's a great throwback. I love I lo I love how they ended the, these characters that I had never heard of previously, but they, they got me so invested in it. I love how they ended their storyline. So, Jacob... Can you tell me what might be up next for me? We're up next, we're continuing with DC, but we're going back. Ooh, 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 ooh. it's a Batman. Ooh. With a, it's another series. It's Batman Incorporated, Volume One, Demon Star. Ooh. So the next time when you tune into Shane's read, we'll be reading Batman Incorporated, Volume One, The Demon Star. Stay tuned. This has been Geeks at the Movies. Thank you.
back room. We'll do um.